Welcome to Talking Tech, I'm your host Alejandro Ojos and today we have a very special edition of Talking Tech for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about this amazing product that everybody has been waiting for, it's called Battle Mage. And today with us we have Tab and we have a specific topic for today, right? Exactly, you know we just launched Battle Mage and today we're going to be talking about latency and specifically low latency. Oh that's awesome. What is latency for the people who are just turning in? Okay, well, you know, latency is whenever you take an action, like click a button or move a mouse, it takes time before that action shows up on a monitor when you're playing a game, and that time is latency or lag. And so obviously you want to make that as short as you possibly can, so we've developed technology that we call XELL that shortens up lag and latency inside of a game. That's awesome. So you're saying that this could actually help on my gameplay. It will improve your gameplay, Alex. <laughs> You'll go from excellent to super good. That's awesome. Amazing. Uh -huh. Okay, so how does actually this work? Like, is there, uh, how we can see this whole well, thing? Well, let right? me uh, show you a few slides, okay? Oh, sure. All right, so to begin with, we have how does graphics work? And this will make it more clear where latency is coming from. Mm -hmm. So on the left is when you get a click or move a mouse, and that's called peripheral latency. And then that will go into the CPU, and the game engine will be, like I saw, a click, so I'm, I'm going to fire a gun, and then after the CPU, that frame gets generated and it's stuck into a render queue. Right. And the render queue is like a little place to wait until you can execute it on the GPU, and the GPU is over there where it kind of turns commands into pixels, and then finally once you have pixels, you put it on the display. So that render queue is a really important thing to understand because you want the CPU to be running at the same time the GPU is running, so that render queue allows them to run in parallel where the GPU is working on the last frame and the CPU is working on a prior frame or the next frame. And the buffer has the current frame ready to be, to be work. And yeah, well, the buffer has maybe multiple frames in it, oh. so, right? So you can get, these things can back up depending on what's going on in the graphics. So that's why things can be long latency. Let me show you how this works in, in sure. time. So if you think about time, there's like events that are happening that kind of define how you move across these different devices. So in time, it looks more like this. It might be each one of these colors, purple, blue, and, and that hash thing, are different frames. So you can see if a click were to come in at that time, it would have just missed the purple frame, so it's not going to be recognized in the purple frame. It'll get picked up in the blue frame, and the blue frame will do its game logic and its game renderer. Then that at some point that frame will move into the render buffer, that, that CPU render queue, and eventually it'll move on to the GPU where it gets turned into pixels, and finally it'll be on your screen. Wow, that, right? that, that, yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. lot to happen. And it can really get backed up. That render queue can have one or two or maybe even three frames that are waiting for their chance to execute on the GPU, and that can even increase this more. Now, that's crazy. So how can we actually improve on this? How, how well, this? we have XELL. So it's an excellent question. Thank <laughs> you. XELL is all about how do we make that process shorter, mm -hmm. right? And the way you do it is pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to shift the time that the game engine samples input, and we're going to push it as far as we can to the right using a new API that we've invented called XELL. And if you do that, you can see here that sleep happens on the game, and then the click gets picked up in the purple frame. So since we saw it in the purple frame, we're going to prevent any queuing, so we're going to actually drain that render queue, and we're going to put it directly into GPU execute, and then finally on the screen. So you can see the latency reduction there is pretty significant. That is, yes, it is huge. Yeah, it's like more than half. It's, it's just a huge amount of latency reduction. And this does require a game integration, but the results are pretty amazing. Right, so that's how we're working closely with our partners to make sure that this gets. Absolutely. So I think the best way to understand this is to do a demo. But before I do the demo, I want to talk a little bit about the way we're going to do the demo. We've got this new thing called a latency measurement tool, LMT, and it's a piece of hardware that we're going to use over on the demo that's going to measure the latency directly. It has a photodiode on one side, and it injects a click into the mouse, and then it tells you the exact latency. That's pretty cool. So why, why do you need the photodiode in there? Well, you need it because you're looking for a change in luminance on the screen. Oh. So you can actually know directly when, uh, when something happens. So okay. let's just run over there and take a look at the demo. Oh, that sounds good. Let's go. Okay, Alex, we're here in demo land, and let me tell you what we're going to do. We've got two systems. Each has a battle mage in it. They're both connected to different monitors. This has F124, which is the game we're going to run. And my goal is to show you the benefit of XELL. And the way I'm going to do it is going to start by showing you what it looks like in F124 off. Then we're going to turn it on, and I'll show you the difference in latency. Awesome. That, that looks great. And, and, and this? Well, we're going to measure latency three different ways. Gotcha, gotcha. One way is with PresentMon, which is our tool. It's going to show you our estimate of latency based on what's happening inside the GPU pipeline. It's pretty accurate. The second way I'm going to show you is using a high-speed camera. We're going to be looking at some lights that I'll tell you about. And the third way is a device here, which we call an LMT. 
Oh, and you're going to tell us a little bit more? I what will is tell this? you a little bit about this LMT device. We just designed it here at Intel. Folks in Toronto build the board for me. And it's looking at the brightness of this monitor, and then it is converting it to a USB signal that tells that application. So with the combination of all that and that tool over there, we're going to prove that we're making things faster. Okay, so this is three different ways to measure it and to actually make sure that we prove that we're making things a lot faster. Exactly, with and we're going to use this camera as the source of truth, and we're going to show you that everything else matches it. Right, because this one's completely independent from everything else, so exactly. we know that there's no yeah, tampering. Exactly. Okay, so your job is hit that camera when, when we say stop, and I'll run the benchmark, and this is going to start with XELL off. Okay, okay sounds so good. Here we uh, go. No pressure. Uh, no pressure. <laughs> we're in the benchmark mode of F124. I'm going to run the benchmark test. It's loading up. Um, and again, this is showing you this displayed FPS from PresentMon and also the displayed latency. And, and it's set for one, so we're going to do one sample. And here we go. The displayed latency says 52. I click the button, you hit stop, perfect. All right. So now through movie magic, we're going to go look at this video. Okay, so I'm going to go grab this camera and plug yep, it over let's here. Let's go. Okay, Alex, so I've downloaded the movie, we've pulled it up. This is showing the LMT and the little lights are highlighted, right? Right. So what frame number we got there? That's uh, 2895. Okay, and when the red light comes on, which is right there, what's uh, that? 2924. 2924, so what is that, about 20? 29. 29 frames, okay, yeah. so it's two milliseconds roughly per frame. So that's gonna be about 60, roughly milliseconds of delay. So let's go over and look at what the LMT said. And the number I see here is 63.4. So the LMT matches the camera, which is right. pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's now pretty... what I didn't show you before is you can actually come over here and look at that sample. You can say last triggered. So here you can see the trigger happen. That's the green. Right. And the blue is when the light occurred. And you can see it's right around 60 milliseconds. Wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty that cool, is right? that's pretty amazing. Uh, I, like I think it. it's really cool. So let's go ahead and clear all this and we come back to our free run. And now what I want to do is a lot more samples to get a little bit more scientific. Okay. okay, so now we're back and our game has been configured with XELL on. Okay. And let's see what XELL can do. So we're going to reset that. We're ready to go with 100 clicks. Okay, 100 I've clicks. got the button. That's all set. I think we're ready to roll. All right, let's go for it. Here we go benchmark mode, running the track. So. 100 clicks to have a nice data spread. And, and then... we'll compare the two. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see that XELL has dramatically reduced latency. Mm -hmm. Now, we can get a look ahead because we already have PresentMon showing display latency, and we're down to 30. Yeah. So that means that the part that's on our control is already dramatically reduced. So we're running. I'm going to get the end-to-end -end measurement here with, with uh, LMT, and that looks pretty good already. Yeah. What, are we, what are we averaging at? Well, we're right now we're averaging around 32, actually. 32? So you're already coming down 28, 30. Wow, all the way so that's down. like half. Yeah. That's half, including the mouse, right? So the, exactly. ma the mouse is kind of like a fixed amount that we can't do much about. So this is a dramatic reduction of the latency of the game. And how many samples have we taken so far? About 60? 54 yep. right at the top? Yep. Nice. So let's see. I think we're about done here. We're at 84, 85, 86. No, yeah, so it. And our average right now is, what's it say at the top there? The average is 36 right now. 36. Okay, yeah. we're all done. Yep. 100 samples, so, 36, 36 milliseconds. milliseconds. That is amazing. And you're going to make a lot of people very happy, you know, sharing this type of hardware with them so they can actually go and test it and, and see for themselves. I'm excited about it. Our engineering team's done a, an amazing job, so I'm looking forward to it. So let's head back over there. We'll summarize. All right, let's go. Well, what'd you think? That's well, pretty cool, right? I thought it was pretty <laughs> cool from the tools to the all the performance that we get. I think High it was around... camera, LMT, no. distribution. All the toys. 50% <laughs> improvement? 50% latency reduction with X, with XELL. Really cool. Yeah. That, I mean, that just makes me want to, like, actually go I, get I got to say, the engineers it. have done, again, a spectacular job. And gamers, I hope, are going to enjoy it. Yes. But it's not just that. There's more. Of course, we have another mode, which we call driver-based low latency. It's very, very cool. It works with DX9 and DX11, and it does pretty much the same stuff that you get with XELL, although in this case, there's no game integration, so it'll work with your old games, and it will you know, dramatically reduce uh, latency using the same technique. Well, that's pretty cool. I also see that you have uh, on boost in there. Oh, yeah. So first of all, there's a switch here in our control panel called low latency mode, and there's a boost option, which will actually keep your clocks high and reduce latency even a little bit more. Now, if you look at how this looks in time, it's very similar, right? You've got the top picture where, where it's old, and in the bottom, you can see where the game render is getting that sleep. That's coming from the driver, and it's pushing the sample window of that click over a little bit so we can get on the screen much quicker. 
And you said there's a slight difference between one and the other. There is. I mean, there's, we have more control and more awareness of what's happening in the pipeline when you do an XELL integration. So for DX12, we can be a little bit more aggressive. On the driver stuff, we've got to be a little bit more conservative to make sure we always you know, meet our deadlines. No, this is great. I can't wait to start playing with this. It's very cool. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Tap. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Alex. It's always we great to see you. It. For you guys, thank you so much for being here with us and watching. And I hope you learned a lot. And stay tuned because there's more.